Hello, hello, this is Joey Davidson, Senior Editor at Technobuffalo.com, and I'm here with a look at Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs this is an interesting property. It comes from United Front Games and it's being published by Square Enix. Uh, Sleeping Dogs was originally titled Black Lotus, I believe. I learned all this while at PAX East. Um, I actually got some hands-on time with the game with one of the reps from United Front Games. And basically, when it was Black Lotus, it was being developed, or public, excuse me, by Activision. Um, Activision turned it into True Crime Hong Kong, if you remember that, being shown off at E3 a couple years ago. And then they dropped the property. Uh, since then, Sleeping Dogs was picked up by Square Enix, given its name change, which is now Sleeping Dogs, of course, and pushed back into development. The game is pretty much a hybrid of Batman Arkham City uh, in, in its fighting mechanics and GTA in its open world nature. And, and here you see me popping through the radio and such, just like you would in a GTA game. Um, and its story is very similar to that of The Departed, the Scorsese flick with Leonardo DiCaprio and Matt Damon, I believe. Man, if it's not Matt Damon, I'm a fool. Um, and it's also based on Infernal Affairs, the series of films that came before The Departed. So, with Sleeping Dogs, essentially, uh, you play the part of one uh, former Chinese citizen turned American citizen that joins the San Francisco Police Department, heads back to China in order to infiltrate uh, a gang, which is called the Triad, uh, one of the members of the Triad anyway. I think Triad is like the Chinese Mafia or Yakuza in Japan, something similar to that. Um, and basically, as, as uh, the undercover cop, you're meant to infiltrate the triad from the bottom, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to meet up with uh, one of the triad lackeys that I had a previous relationship with before I left China and became a cop. Um, and I'm going to use my connections there in order to get to the bottom of the gang, move all the way up to the top, and take down basically the tentpole uh, Wait, lieutenants okay, of man, this like specific this triad okay. gang. So that's that's the, the basic plot of this game, and, and like I said before, it's based on The Departed and Infernal Affairs for that reason. Um, those are the same plot lines that you had in those movies. And essentially what United Front Games is looking to do is give give gamers a, a slice of Hong Kong and, and Chinese gang, gang life that probably hasn't been shown off before in games, and so far, so good. I'm probably about two hours into the title, so what you're seeing here is a very early mission. Don't expect it to be um, too packed with spoilers. Just know that I'm, I'm basically a, a low, low-level lackey at this point looking to do things in order to impress those above me so that I can move ahead. So right now I'm at the start of a mission. I'm going to take this... <laughs> this hilarious little white van all the way to some docks in order to steal some goods for my boss. That's the basic gist, and I'll be back to show off some more mechanics in a few. Sure, of course, they're never gonna know it was us. Unless we get caught. Well, we won't unless you fuck it up. Come on, get in. Time to move up in the world. <laughs> Where'd you get the van? My uncle's a chop shop around the corner. Call it a pre-stolen ride. I'm thinking I'm gonna get a steady girlfriend. <laughs> oh yeah? All right, so if you notice that notification thing up at the top uh, that said something about cop score, basically at all times in the game you're working two sides of the fence. You're working your triad personality and you're working your cop personality. And you'll have different uh, objectives for each side. Right now I'm going to drive with a little bit extra care because I'm worried about my cop score. At the end of each mission, your triad score goes up and your cop score goes up. You'll be penalized if you do damage to public property or you know hurt other citizens or whatever. You'll do damage to your to your cop score when you do that. And what you use and, and earn with the cop score and triad score is unlocks to some of the light RPG elements in the game. So you'll learn the ability to, to take less damage during combat and stuff like that. So it's, it's good to pay attention to the triad stuff and the cop stuff in order to make the best of your character in the game. And here you're actually going to see me get into a fight. I will say these loading screens have been a bit obnoxious. So a lot of that spinning dragon. Um... So the fighting is a lot like Arkham City and, and Arkham Asylum in that you're basically set against a large group of enemies, each with different fighting styles. And so far I've not encountered anyone with firearms, but um, I have encountered people with 
knives and crowbars. You're meant to use combos in order to attack, and then when you see someone flash red, a lot like when Batman gets that sixth sense flash, you're meant to counter by pressing Y. It's almost exactly the same as Arkham City. Um, and I believe that the folks from United Front Games and Square Enix actually worked with the same team, uh, Rocksteady, that, that did a lot of Arkham City's development. So if you notice when I grab people, I get this kind of HUD that has a, a weird appearance. You see some stuff gets lit up red like this. When you approach things in the environment that are lit up red, that means that you can do contextual violence with those things. It's like an instant takedown um, that, that makes use of the environment itself in order to, to get rid of the bad guy in question. See, I mean, the fighting even does that nice slow down when you rid the area of enemies. So far, uh, the game has been a lot of fun. Um, it's not it's the loading screen again. Pretty much in between every minor cutscene and stuff, I've been hit with a loading screen. I am playing this currently on the Xbox 360. I would imagine on the PC where the game is installed and perhaps even the PlayStation 3, that loading might not be as slow. Now, I'm likely going to install the game as well once I'm finished with this video and I keep trudging through the title for my review. Uh, but, yes, you can pick stuff up too. You might notice a flash here. I'm actually getting pounded on. I got a phone call in the middle of this, so please excuse my terrible gameplay here for a second. But anyway, I do not have this game installed, so more than likely the, the slowdowns and hang up with loading screens is because I'm running straight off the disc. I would hope that once I install the title, uh, the slowdown will stop and the loading will become less significant of a bother. But... Anyway, as of now, the, the title's been enjoyable. I, I liked what I saw of Sleeping Dogs when I played it at PAX uh, several months ago, and, and now that it's out and it's actually in my house, I'm enjoying it. Uh, the first day I played the game for probably about four or five hours. Um, this isn't that far into the title. I think this is maybe at the hour and a half, two hour mark. But I'm liking what I saw so far, and, and I'm liking what, what I'm seeing as I play. And again with the loading screens. One thing that I will say that, that, that United Front Games has done well so far is that they've introduced new mechanics kind of at a constant clip. At the very beginning of the game, I'm, I'm taught how to navigate through the environment in a really interesting uh, blend of cutscene and gameplay. As it progresses, each new mission that I've done, I've wound up doing something different. And it's not like Saints Row the Third type different where it's, you know, you're being mauled by a tiger in this car while you're driving. Stay safe, which is actually a mission in Saints Row the Third. Here, it's, it's stuff like all of a sudden you have to chase this van, but we're going to introduce burnout-style takedowns to the equation. So I'm doing something that I've not done yet. And as you see, I'm plowing through grates and lights. I'm, you're noticing a minus indicator to my uh, cop score. It's because I'm being an idiot and doing damage to public property. But anyway, it's, it's been really nice in the way that it introduces brand new mechanics as I'm playing. It's keeping gameplay fresh and interesting rather than just showing me the basics of this is how you move around the world, this is how you use a gun, this is how you fight and enjoy. Uh, every new mission that I've played, it's, it's introduced new elements to the game and stuff that makes it seem bigger and probably more dynamic than it could be. Um, GTA is a straight, simple title where you know your core principles are intact. Fighting isn't that good in GTA. This has fighting done a lot better. Uh, shooting in GTA is not that good which mightn't change with Grand Theft Auto V, I hope, but from the demo that I played previously to this, the shooting in this game was pretty solid. It's cover-based, and it's dynamic when you're meant to be aggressive with the cover. If you just sit back and take bullets, you're going to lose certain fights and certain moments of the game. You're meant to hop over cover in kind of Hong Kong action style um, and progress the storyline that way. You're meant to be aggressive. So far, I think that this game has nailed that Hong Kong cinema style and, and that type of portrayal. While I'm not entirely sold on the plotline just yet, because it does feel a lot like, hey, The Departed was cool, let's do something with that. Um, I am sold on the basic characters, and I'm not sold on this load screen. I'm going to say that again. Yeah, I left the load screens in here for a reason. I just want to demonstrate how frequent they actually come. You're going to see this one tick. A very brief cutscene with some cheap stolen watches. And then the load screen ticks again. So I found that to be a little bit frustrating. 
Aside from the load screen, it's been great so far. I'll be reviewing the game in full sometime between now and next week. Uh, I hope to have it up by the end of next week, depending on how much time I can dedicate to playing. If you guys are interested in the view, check back at technobuffalo.com uh, next week after this review is published. If you're not interested in the review, then hey, go check out the game. It's pretty sweet. It's available for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC right now. It's from Square Enix and United Front Games. Uh, this has been Joey Davidson. I'm going to let this clip play out for a little bit longer. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Where'd they come from? I think that's it. Yeah, they're gone. We're clear, man. No wonder there's so many criminals in this town. Those cops suck. What do you think will happen with dog guys? I don't know. He's an asshole. Oh. So where's this guy we're meeting? Don't worry. I'll take you from here. You sure you don't want me to stick around? No, man. I got it under control. So no la. All right. Your deal. Hey, wait. You did good out there. Here. Take this watch. You earned it. Great. I finally hit the big time.